Hey everyone, it's Palumbo here and welcome back to my channel for the final episode of the Broke Family Compound. So I am starting off with Ruby Broke's makeover and she goes through quite the transformation. I would say in her original form, she's quite girly, but I wanted to take her more towards the tomboy side. You'll see what I mean once we get to her outfits. Now, Ruby's lifetime wish is to become a heartbreaker. So I still wanted her to have like these alluring elements to her, but I, I wanted her as well to be like a sim that could hang out with the lads as well and then maybe take them to bed afterwards and then break their hearts. That's the kind of look that I was going for for Ruby and she turns out completely different and I have to say out of all the makeovers that I've done throughout this little mini series of the Broke Family Compound, Ruby's transformation is my absolute favorite. So like I said, her lifetime wish is to become a heartbreaker. Her traits are flirty, great kisser. She of course is a party animal and you're going to see things throughout her trailer renovation that reflect that. She is good and she is also easily impressed. Now her favorites are electronica, pancakes, and the color yellow. So there's going to be a lot of yellow in her outfits and then there's gonna be pops of yellow throughout her modular home. Now she has one skill point in cooking and then she has one skill point in guitar. So I kind of made her kitchen area really nice in case she wanted to boost those skills a little bit. And I have to say, and we'll talk about it more once we get to her renovation of her home, her trailer is probably the nicest on the lot and um, it's my favorite. So everything about Ruby is my favorite. I just love I just love her. Now, she didn't appear in Sims 1 or Sims 2. However, um, she would be the aunt of Dustin and Bo Broke because she's the daughter of Flo and Flat Broke and the older sister to the infamous Skip Broke. So, of course, she lives on the compound and she wants to move out. However, she really likes to be close to her family. So it's kind of a catch 22. Should she stay on the comp compound? Should she go out and discover the rest of Riverview by herself? Uh, but for now, she's got it pretty darn made. And I mean, look at her face. Look at her face. She's just stunning. From that kind of pudding faced Ruby broke to this, She's just a beaut and I really, really love her. Now, as I was looking at her wiki page, there was something that really kind of pissed me off. Um, when you go to the appearance on any Sims wiki page, you've got their hair color, their eye color, skin color, and their body shape. Now, Ruby's body shape is down as fat. This girl isn't fat, the girl is thick. Um, she's got muscles for days and I feel like she could be a Miss New Booty. Ow! But I mean, just look at her body. She's got curves for days, she is thick and um, she's just really, really beautiful. And I didn't have to do much with her, but we're going through her outfit right now and I decided to put her in these jeans. These are some of my favorite jeans and then kind of to get the girly flirtatious um, type of vibe that I was going for, I went for a little bit of a crop top just to show off, you can't really see her abs, but just to show off her toned stomach. But I mean, how adorbs does she look? She looks pretty damn adorbs. But we're almost to the end to the spinny bit, so I'm gonna love you and leave you right here and I will pick up with you guys once we get to her trailer.
So here we are at Miss Ruby Broke's trailer, which is going to be turned into a lovely modular home. And even though this one is my favorite out of all three, I struggled the hardest with it. It was so difficult to get it how I wanted it to look. So at first, I decided to go five wide. And then you're gonna see later on in the video, I'm not sure if I show it on camera, but then I go back to four wide because it's just Ruby living there on her own. And I didn't think she needed that much space. In the original uh, trailer, there was a crib and I wanted to make sure that Ruby wasn't pregnant when I got her into cast and she's not pregnant. So I have no idea what that crib was for it was kind of weird and um, that she just had a crib like in her living room but I'm doing some constrained floor elevation at the moment and the basic shape of the trailer is coming together almost finished and but I did some constrained floor elevation earlier and I decided to sink down Ruby's bedroom so this is kind of a studio when it's all finished because there's no actual door to the bedroom it's just a it's just stairs that go down into her private room and I wanted to do something a little bit different now obviously if this was an actual trailer home you wouldn't have a sink down like that because you know how would you wheel it away but I'm just going with the um, idea that this is in fact a modular home Ruby wants to stick around on the compound so her trailer is not going to be picked up and going anywhere anytime soon so that's why I sunk it down and you know it's the same so we can imagine things how we want them to be and this is how I wanted Ruby's little place to be so I'm kind of laying everything out on the inside and we're gonna continue on working on the outside now we're about to do the siding and let me tell you it changes three or four times I think I think the final color that I go with I don't do it on camera because I had been in and out of edit town mode and every time I came back I was like this just doesn't fit so the whole idea when doing this whole family compound is that I wanted the trailers to look like they belonged on the same plot of land and we're working with yellow right now now flow and flat and skips trailer is brown and buck and trigger and Susie's trailer is trailer is a really dark blue yellow just doesn't really fit in with it i know ruby's color favorite color is yellow but this light yellow just wasn't doing it but i kept it like this for quite some time and then i like woke up and i was like you idiot this just doesn't look good with the rest of the the lots on this or the rest of the trailers on this lot so I go away from yellow here we are we're gonna go to a blue I believe and then as I was sort of decorate not decorating but I was looking behind me and the very first Riverview renovation that I did I believe it was the dog patches behind behind Ruby's trailer and it's a very light blue so I thought we're not gonna do that we're just not gonna do this so in the end I change it to a very I wouldn't say it's a dark gray but it is a gray color that the outside of Ruby's trailer becomes and I think it fits very well with the rest of the trailers on the lot but we stick with this blue for quite some time because I thought yeah this is a really good idea and then I went back and looked and I was like actually it's a terrible idea terrible terrible idea but we are doing the windows at the moment and we've got um I'm gonna do a little trick here with these windows in that they're going to overlap each other so it kind of makes a really big picture window in Ruby's bedroom and I really love how that looks um I know it kind of looks out onto the front sort of uh, it's not a garden area but the front yard of all the trailers but still it's a picturesque window and I thought Ruby deserved a picturesque window out of her little modular home but this is the basic shape I did do trellising in the back and I really love it now before I started this whole um renovation for the entire lot i knew that i wanted to do ivy on ruby's trailer so i'm going through and i'm picking through all the different ivies that we have some of them actually it's all store content some of them is from are from dragon valley i believe and then the others are just in the store um but there are cc versions of ivy that you guys can use to replace it if you don't have these ivies in your game and you don't want to buy them from the sims 3 store and speaking of cc and the sims 3 store and all that there is no cc i was able to make it through this entire broke family compound without the use of cc i thought i was going to struggle once i got to ruby's place but i didn't and we did it. There's no CC 
on this lot and I'm actually pretty darn proud of that. So you will find the download link for the Broke Family Compound in the description below. You guys are going to have to give me a little bit of time to get the CC list together for um, their makeovers because it takes me a little bit of time to put those all together. I should be smart about it and do the CC list as soon as I create them, but I'm not that smart. So I need some time to go ahead and put together the CC list for flow flat skip buck trigger Susie, and ruby and um, i'm hoping to have that for you by this weekend uh, because i have a pretty darn long weekend coming up it is easter weekend and it is a bank holiday for us here in the uk so i have got almost five days off i want to see say because i'm taking a half day on thursday i've got friday off obviously saturday and sunday off and then uh, Monday off and then I've also taken Tuesday off so I am going to be a simming fool next weekend so I don't know if you guys noticed because I just rambled through this entire thing but I was having so much trouble with this little decking where this bar is I was trying to do some trellising and I'm still working on it right now because as you can see the trellis doesn't go all the way over this little open area and I didn't want it to be this that you're looking at right here because I thought it looked really stupid so I was trying to figure out how I could get the entire thing trellis and I worked on this for probably an hour trying to figure it out because I couldn't get it at the height of the platform because I don't know why I just couldn't get it at the height of the platform it was just something with all the different levels that I've got going on so in the end we got the trellis at the same height as the other trellis, which works for me. I think it looks really good, and I think it's a cool little space for Ruby to have her own little bar because she is a party animal. She is single, ready to mingle. So um, I just thought that little lower deck platform area worked perfectly for her so i think we've moved on to the inside we have moved on to the inside so this is the floor plan this is the layout i added on a bathroom so we do have an extension there for the bathroom and then you can see we went down one level for ruby's um bedroom but this is the kitchen area now um i talked about it in the last part in um buck trigger and Susie's trailer but i did something different when it came to ruby's trailer in that i laid out everything in her trailer modular home and then I went back and I recolored at the very very end and I don't ever ever do that but for some reason it was super easy for me to lay everything down in this one make sure it all laid out very nicely and then I came back to it maybe I just wasn't in a recoloring mood sometimes I'm not in a recoloring mood because I know that is the longest thing when it comes to decorating for me it just takes me forever and that's my indecision and me being a big old slob um but her kitchen is definitely bigger and probably nicer than any of the other kitchens and any of the other trailers and I had to give her a wine rack because she is a party animal I know some of the other family members are party animals but I thought you know let's give Ruby the wine rack she's got a bar outside so I've done that and then I have a tester um sim who has been to i think she's been to france and china so whenever i have my tester sims go through the homes and if there's a wine rack i have her fill the wine rack so ruby's wine rack is stacked <laughs> So this is the living room area and at first I started out with this TV um, but I didn't like the layout of it so I decided to hide a TV in a coffee table and you're going to see me get to that later but I was messing with these um, sectionals from Aurora Skies I believe for ages. I just couldn't get them straight and I couldn't get them to look how I wanted them to look so um, we're going to see me on the struggle bus for a little bit here. Look at me go. Look at me struggle why isn't this working <laughs> and then that coffee table that comes with the sectionals is useless you can put nothing on that coffee table so i had to get rid of it in the end um but that's the layout of the living area i think i go back and i change up the television and i put a what is it it's a stereo i put a stereo but look look at me go I'm, i was trying to put something on the coffee table and it's just not happening so i was like see ya later um and i decided to give ruby a computer as well because i thought you know because she's a heartbreaker she'll probably want to have a dating profile and so why not make a dating profile in the comfort of 
her home. I mean, her and her uncle will be on opposite sides of the family compound making dating profiles. Um, so yeah, I thought I would give that option to them. And then I did her bathroom on camera, but I did not recolor it on camera. So take a look guys. This is what it looks like. This is layout. It's nothing special. It's a bathroom. You go in there to basically shit, shower, and shave. And so, um, yeah, this is it. It's very bog standard. And then we're going to go on to her beautiful sunken down bedroom which again in real life in a trailer you wouldn't have a sunken down bedroom because you know I don't know I feel like leaks and rainwater and flooding and it's just not practical to have a sunken down bedroom but I wanted to have a sunken down bedroom so a sunken down bedroom Ruby has and I think it's pretty cool that it's open um I don't know how practical it is again to have an open bedroom um i'm 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 losing my words here but i don't know how practical it is to have an open area bedroom but i figure because she's single and she's on her own no one would really disturb her unless she's got a suitor over and then i just hope he doesn't turn on the tv or the radio because the door's open well there's no door but because there's an open space she would wake up from that but it's by the by and I'm rambling and I probably didn't explain that very well but I've come back into the living room because I wanted a few more knickknacks I wanted to give her a little shelving unit but this is basically her bedroom I'm putting in these three I I always do these these pictures three in a row but here we are and we're back and we're doing the recoloring so we're starting in the kitchen as I always do and I have to say again out of all the trailers that I've done on this lot Ruby's is probably the highest end trailer Um, it's still a trailer by by definition definition yeah it's still a trailer but um, it's a little bit more high-end like I think I started with the lowest the cheapest cabinets in flow flat and skips trailer and then i went to the next cheapest in buck in buck trigger and Susie's trailer and then ruby's got the next uh cheapest ones so you know she's stepping up here in the world and another thing that you are going to notice or you probably wouldn't notice unless i point it out which i'm going to point it out so you're gonna notice but the wall coverings that i use in the entire um house change when we get to the screenshots because like i said in the very beginning of the video when i was going through ruby's makeover i wanted to do a yellow and gray um color palette and i just went overboard on the yellow and i was taking screenshots and i was like this is so bad i do not like this and so i made an executive decision put my foot down and i made all the walls gray and i let the yellow be the pops of color that they were born to be and so i decided to put in this little china hutch um i feel like ruby's trailer is kind of a mix of country and well it's kind of a, it's just country so i put in this country china hutch which just came from the store set i think it's the country store set i don't remember what it's called but i kind of thought that maybe she could have inherited she could have inherited this from flow i don't know that was just going through my head i was like oh she's gonna have a country china hutch and i bet her mom gave it to her but you know her mom's on the same lot but that's by the by it's totally fine but yeah we're starting with this yellow here and then i was like okay well we can't have yellow curtains and yellow walls and so i changed the curtains to a gray sort of whitish and then i'm going through different types of patterns indecision at its at its highest right here i just couldn't decide so i went with this really like it's kind of like a puke baby poop yellow and i really don't like it like i'm i'm disgusted at myself that i thought this was okay <laughs> because i mean look at the microwave the microwave is mustard yellow and then you've got a really soft yellow and i was going through all of this in my head and i was thinking i wanted ruby to be more on the tomboy side so why in the heck am i putting like baby yellows in there because it just doesn't suit the personality that i had in my head for her so i had to get my act together so i'm really really sorry for the last minute change but you know this is just how my mind works this is how i roll but so we've got these pops of yellow we've got gray and there are little hints of blue throughout as well i think that's a really good color palette gray mustard yellow or other types of yellow 
and blue. I just think it works. So we're going through and we are recoloring the heck out of her little office station. And I had to get my cap cow pattern in there because I do love a bit of cow patterns. Um, I just think it looks really good. And I don't know, this family kind of reminds me of a country family, like all of them, like country bumpkins. So I think in everyone's trailer there is cow pattern somewhere and it just made sense to me but I mean look at that bright pop of yellow and then look I'm gonna ruin it by putting some baby soft puke baby poop yellow on the walls what was I thinking I mean I'm an idiot sometimes but you know that's the great thing about walking away coming back you can see that you've made a mistake and you can rectify it and it's totally fine so um there's a little tv stand that i i didn't build it but um i put together so it's a coffee table and then i moved a tv into it this is the most expensive tv that is on the lot so i'm sure people will come to ruby's house to watch tv and as well i did have my testers um upgrade the tv so it won't ever break because it's moved in there and then if it broke the repair person wouldn't be able to fix it so i thought it would help you guys out when you play on this lot so you never have to worry about ruby's um, TV breaking and having to pull it out of the coffee table that it's in. Woo! So anyway, here we are on the bedroom and I am just recoloring everything. Now I changed the bedspread up. I love that bedspread because it's kind of, it's gold. It looks gold to me. And I really love, I think the default is, um, it's gold and like turquoise. And so I like to turn the turquoise white and it makes me think of regality that's not a word regalness queens and kings i don't know anyway that's what it makes me think of um and it makes me think of something you might see in games of thrones in one of the kings or queens homes actually that's not true because they had a lot of dark colors anyway um speaking of game of thrones who's excited for game of thrones i just started watching it like two weeks ago and i'm hooked i am two and a half um, seasons behind so I'm not going to be able to watch the premiere of it and I'm kind of gutted and I swear to God if anybody spoils it for me there's going to be lots of pain for them. I'm going to be hitting my mute button left right in Chelsea on Twitter just so I don't see spoilers because I'm far behind. I'm sorry I didn't jump on the bandwagon straight away but I completely talked my way through Ruby's um, bedroom with that mini rant and I I just want to have another little mini rant about Ruby's bedroom. So when you use Constrain Floor Elevation and you have a little drop down like that, the um, tops of the walls and the bottom of the walls, whenever you color them, they aren't the same color. For some reason, the lighting's all screwed up in this game. And um, so I spent probably 30 minutes trying to match up the colors of the top of the wall and the bottom of the wall as best as I can. If it's way off, I'm really, really sorry, but it looked spot on to me. But you know, sometimes I've got bad eyesight, so I'm gonna apologize for that right now. But here we are recoloring the backyard area before we go and do the communal gardens. Actually, I tell a lie. We are on Ruby's front deck and I wanted to keep the glass windows that she had um, in her original trailer and I found something as well when I was demolishing that little front um, porch bit that she had originally in that where the windows were underneath the walls weren't colored they were not recolored it was just blank walls and I was like how lazy can you get EA how lazy can you get to not even recolor the walls I mean that would give a sim an unfinished an unfinished room mooblet <laughs> having lots of rants in here but here we are we're in the back corner of Ruby's section of the compound and we're just doing some rocks and I went with the same sort of theme with the flowers. So we've got the buckhorns, which are my favorite. I've kept the daffodils. We've got the daisies. And then we've got those um, blue ones that I started using on um, Buck's trailer, I think it was. And I don't know if I put any on Flow, Flat, and Skip's trailer. But yeah. So... Here we are in the centerpiece, and I knew that I wanted one thing to be sort of the center feature that would connect all three um, of these trailers. Can you guys guess what it is? Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? 
it is a fire pit so I pulled everything out that I wanted to put um, for family fun I guess for them all to enjoy so I decided to give Flo some bees to keep because I thought it would go nicely with her garden and then there's a hopscotch court for Skip and Susie and I end up putting that by the playground but it stays there for a moment and then of course we've got a barbecue area because who doesn't like a family barbecues and then I really wanted to have a horseshoe um, horseshoe court a lot I, I I remember growing up and going to family reunions and we used to play um, cornhole which is kind of like horseshoes except you have like bags. Does anybody know what cornhole is? Or am I just, I don't even want to try to explain it because I know I'll just trip over my words. But um, yeah, it was one of my favorite activities to do when I went to family reunions. And I feel like the family compound is just one big family reunion. So I had to put a horseshoe court there and it moves from that spot. And I believe in its place, I put an easel, but I also wanted to pit, put pit, 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 I also wanted to put the um, fixer upper car from r r r r r good gravy. I've been talking all day, you guys. I'm really sorry, I'm tripping over my words. <laughs> And now I'm choking. Oh my god. I wanted to put the fixer up. Oh my god. I wanted to put the fixer upper car from Roaring Heights. There we go. On the lot. Because I thought it would be something fun that um, the Sims could do. And maybe it could be Trigger's first car. I can imagine Trigger working on the fixer upper car. And then um, Buck teaching him how to work. Work. Drive. Jesus. Help me. We're almost there. And I also decided to give um, Buck... A motorcycle I just wanted to continue on with his rock star lifestyle so I gave him a motorcycle and originally on the lot there were three parking spaces but there was only one truck that I believe belonged to Buck so I decided to get rid of the rest of the parking spaces and just give Buck his own motorcycle so that he could get to gigs on his motorcycle because how rock star is that but anyway we are coming up to the end and um, I believe I'm done rambling and I'm done tripping over my words so I'm gonna love you and leave you stick around for the screenshots because there are a lot of them and I hope you really really enjoy them let me know down below in the comments which home we should renovate next in Riverview but if you enjoyed the broke family compound make sure to do all those cool interweb things like comment and subscribe make sure you've got that bell a ding dong so you can be notified whenever I do upload but for now I'm gonna skate skate skedaddle don't be a plum stranger now, guys.